are there any study <clears throat> habits that you found to not to be effective? Like we were discussing previously, um, it's not because you do 10 problems a day, you're gonna be ready for that topic. It's better just to understand. Uh, and like I said before, try to have one question and, and be ready if they, if for example, they, they ask you to calculate something, try to see, okay, this is the question that I'm using, try to, to see if they don't give you this variable. If they give you instead of, for fluid um, uh, flow, they, if, what if, if they give you just velocity and an area? What if I try to just to play with that as I was moving forward? I think that that's more effective than just try to do 100 problems or 10 problems a day and try to memorize them. Okay, these are a lot of great stuff you're sharing with us today. Like, <laughs> so the first thing you mentioned is like, almost like quality versus quantity, right? I always tell yes. you guys like focus on, you know, I, you know, it, like it doesn't matter if you go over 100 and 200 questions, like if you go over 50 or like 10 questions and you understand statics by the end of those 10 questions, that is more important yes. than doing 200 questions and not understanding any of it, right? That's so that right. one, yeah, that was really like important one. And my favorite part is you making connections. I love that. Like yeah. you actually like you solving problems, but it's not about just getting the answer. It's not about just solving the problem. Once you solve the problem, you got to take a second and really take a look at the process. Take a look at the question one more time. See what variables they give you. See why such an equation was used. Ask all yeah. these questions because that's how you're reinforcing the concepts. And then as you do that for every problem, you're going to start making connections and then you're just going to have a lot of well, I get it now. Like a lot of things will just start clicking. Is that how you felt like when you did this? Yes. yes, because most of the questions that I saw uh, or my, as, a, as I had as experience is, for example, um, you, in your equation, you, can, you need uh, flow, but they don't give you flow. They give you, no, you need velocity, but they give you the flow in gallons. So you, then you have to convert it to feet cube and then they give you the height of the tank. So then you have to divide it. So it's better just to have connections, say, and try to feel the problem to say, okay, what is the different wordings? For example, for me, um, I'm from Venezuela, so that my English is my second language. So I have to be very careful, careful on the all the words that are on the on each problem. So I say, okay, this means this. So I have to, so that's something that helped me a lot, just to try quality problems instead of quantity. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. No, like making connections is very important. Yeah. And yes. your approach is really good. I really like it. Yeah. Okay. Did you make any changes to your study habits or materials between the times you failed the IT exam and the time you passed? Yes. Yes. <laughs> a lot. A lot. Yes. Um, like I said before, just a step by step, a day by a day, not rushing, no. Uh, when when I saw your course, I say, why you don't have all the courses? Why you only have? And then I step I step back. I say, okay, if I if I had if I have over the fifty five questions at the beginning, if I had fifty, I'm just kind of close to pass the exam. Why are gonna focus on the ones that are super hard? Let's just concentrate and get, for example, economy. That's something uh, something that I that I had that like I was good on the economy with for future present. I was good, but then when it was breaking a point, tax, uh, taxes, those are new topics and say, okay, let's just focus. Let's be 100% aware when, when I have a question, what were they asking me? So that's something that I changed. Like, okay, uh, today we're gonna do transportation and then uh, steel design. I, I always start for the hardest one and say, why we don't understand for math? That's something that as engineering, we should have not fresh, but we should be good. So. Uh, your your course helped me to go step by step, topic by topic, and then I just accumulate everything for the end. Yeah, and I remember we had that conversation where I yeah. was like, I was like, Hector, let's just start from the beginning. You're going to start from math. You're going to go to <laughs> statistics and polity. And if you yeah. suck in statistics polity, don't skip it. Ask me questions. Make sure you finish yeah. it before you move on to ethics, engineering, econ, and so. 
And I think it's really important. First, it's important to start math because it's easy topic and a lot of us, we understand it because we already went to engineering school. And then once you get it, it boosts your confidence. You go, okay, I got this. This is easy. And then, you know, you're just starting to warm up. Like instead of starting with transportation, like that's like one of the hardest topics in there or structural engineering, like your brain is just going to like go, you know, like you can't start with that. You have to start easy and you have to start slow and once you have that momentum then you can challenge yourself and you know start studying the hard problems and then also another thing we talked about is make sure that you finish the topic before you move on and that one is really important and and once you finish like let's say math stop for a second and celebrate that right because when you celebrate that like you go okay great I got this I finished math I can move on to the next one that actually motivates you and that's what keeps you going and helps you stay consistent with your studying but if you finish math and you look at it in a negative way and you go like well I barely I just finished math I still have 12 topics to go going with that mindset (laughs) like you're going to burn out real fast yeah so it's really important to kind of trick your brain to stay positive and anything you accomplish and achieve, you have to celebrate that because that's what's going to help you to keep going. And I really yeah. like how you were kind of focused, you know, just take it one day at a time, one problem at a time. And I think that's really awesome. If you found these videos helpful and they help you prepare better for your FE exam, please let me know in the comments below so that I make more videos like this in the future. And also don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notified each time I post new videos. Also, if you want to watch more videos, make sure that you check out one of these videos or you can also go to my channel and there are a lot more videos there. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck with your studying and I will see you soon. À la prochaine. Yeah,